boy, this guy fought. <laughs> really nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, fish. So lucky to be able to be out here on a beautiful day like this and have nice fish like this off Cape Cod. Nope, just a nice one. Yeah. Oh, boy. big. This is what I'm talking about. Wow. All right. That's a, that, that might be the biggest one I've got. Hey, this is Simeon from the Goose Hummock Shops, and we're back here again with your next installment of Cooking Your Catch. Today we have some nice fresh sea bass, and I'm gonna make for you a Thai-inspired whole fried sea bass. I'm just gonna run through how to clean this fish real quick for you before uh, we get cooking. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is take, take a good pair of scissors, and then take the side fins off. Clip them off good and close, just behind the joint. If you don't cut these off, they're, they're just going to burn, that's all. The same thing with the fins on the bottom. Sure. Just like that. And then you can trim off the back fins if you like, just to avoid the spines. And just, and you can trim the tail off, just a little bit shorter, and once again the back fin. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to open up the gill plates, and we're going to clip the gills out, just because it can be a little bit un unpalatable, that's all. And one side, come around and do the other side. Next thing I'm gonna do is just split the stomach open. You know, reach inside and take, take out all the innards and just put it in a bag. Cut out the, the little inside track. And that's really it. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is scale it, but I'm going to do that in another location just so I don't make a mess all over the house here. We'll be back in just a minute. Hi, this is Simeon back with you again. Now that we have our fish all cleaned and scaled, we're ready to go and I'm going to show you how to prep it for the, for the walk over here. Good sharp knife. And what you want to do is make a score right through the skin and the filet and cut almost right down to the bone. Depending on the size of the fish, you're gonna go four or five or six of them. Nice little pattern in there. Turn it over and do, do the other side. Just there right down into the meat and right down to the backbone. Next thing I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of Cape Cod sea salt here, season up the cavities just a little bit don't need too much. I'm gonna go inside, inside the head. Do exactly the same thing on the, with the cuts on the other side. And then what I have here is a, I have a paste that I made earlier, made out of uh, green and red chilies, shallots, garlic, fresh ginger, and just a little bit of sesame oil. So I'm gonna do with this now is take this and push this right down into these cuts. Get a good little spice going inside there. And you're gonna turn it over, do the same thing to the other side. Get it right down inside there. And then don't be afraid to rub, rub some all over the skin. And you wanna put a little inside in the cavity as well. 
Now basically what we're going to do, we're going to let this set for 10 minutes. We're going to come back and we're going to do a little bit of cooking. We'll be right back. Hey, this is Simeon back with you again. Now we're going to step on to cooking this sea bass. So I've got it all set out here. It's been marinating for about 10 minutes in this nice little rub. I'm just going to take some straight up cornstarch and just sprinkle it and rub, rub it along the skin. This is going to give it a nice crispy outside as well as helping to draw that, uh, that marinade into the fish just a little bit as well. Now over in my wok over here going, I have uh, peanut oil sitting at about 350 degrees and I'm just going to finish dusting these here and then we're going to drop this fish directly into this, this peanut oil. You have to make sure everything's t totally coated just enough to give it a nice little glaze when you drop it in there. And we'll start with the whole fish first. A little bit more cornstarch on the back side. Rub it in, knock it off. I'm going to drop it in slowly, head first. I'm just going to let that sizzle away for a minute. Give a little clean up. And this is going to take probably about four to five minutes on each side. Don't be afraid to baste it a little bit with the hot oil. Get things rolling a little better on the top side. Take, we're give it a nice little turn. I'm going to get rolling on the other side, on the back a little bit. What I've done ahead of time is I've made some coconut, mango rice, which is basically just white rice that is cooked with coconut water, mango, and a little bit of ginger. So I'm going to set this out on our platter. Like I said, you just want to kind of, you don't want to move it around too much or it'll start to fall apart on you. Turn it right to the other side now. So everything's starting to open up in there and sucking up all those flavors. And don't be afraid of the head either. There's a lot of good meat up, up on the cheeks, behind the eyes, up, up, up inside. A lot of nice sweet meat up there. going to be about it. I'm going to pick it and let it drain. Move it over to the serving platter. And that's how it's cooked. And I'll be right back to show you a real basic sauce to put on top of this in just a minute. Hey, this is Simeon back with you again. I'm going to make the sauce for this uh, whole pan seared sea bass that we did here. We're going to start with just a little bit of sesame oil in the pan. Got the pan good and hot. Now we're going to add a little bit of ginger. A little bit of garlic. Actually a lot of garlic. Everybody has to talk to each other here so you know we've got to give it a little stir up. 
Got some fresh scallions. Now I'm going to hit this with just a little bit of oyster sauce. You can buy it in any Asian aisle in the store. A little bit of Thai fish sauce, just a sprinkle. It's a little on the salty side, but it adds a great undernote to it. A little bit of light uh, sodium soy sauce. Just a splash of rice, rice wine vinegar. Good. I'm going to add just a few toasted sesame seeds. We're going to take and we're going to put this directly on top of our fish. And then we're just going to finish this off with a little bit of a fresh squeeze of lime on top. A few cilantro leaves. And then just as a little added green, I got some fresh pea shoots. Just gonna throw them right here in the wok real quick with a little bit of sesame oil. A little bit of Cape Cod sea salt. Don't mind a little spillage. You don't really want to cook them all the way through, you just get giving them a nice little heat. Just to wilt them just a little bit. And you like even throw, throw a little bit of the garlic in there too. A little bit of the ginger. And add a nice little flavor to it. And plate that right alongside of it. Now you can eat this just as it is to put it on the table and pick away at it. You can get some nice scallion pancakes and fold everything inside. Either way it's going to be great. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Awesome. I don't know what I'm doing either. I'm just gonna do this. Look how easy you made that look. Everybody. Exactly. <laughs> Hey, this is Simi back again with Brian Collins from My Fish in Cape Cod. He's one of the gentlemen today that helped supply us with all this fish for, for this night, these recipes we're doing tonight. And how was your day? Uh, I had a tremendous day and this looks amazing. It smells absolutely terrific. <laughs> Uh, could you take us through just a quick recap so I kind of have an understanding of what you did to create this? Absolutely. You guys brought me home a couple of whole sea bass here, which basically I just trimmed the fins off, took the gills out, um, took the scales off, and uh, took the guts out. Cut little slices in them. I rubbed it and marinated it all down with a, um, a chili pepper and garlic rub. We dredged it with a little cornstarch and deep fried it. We just made a quick little sauce with some oyster sauce, soy sauce, ginger and garlic. It's gonna have a nice little spice and it's served with a little mango uh, coconut rice. And that's basically it. And we're looking forward to eating the, uh, these nice fish that these gentlemen caught today. We appreciate them bringing everything here so we can do these videos for you. Can I give you a hug after? Yeah, I'm on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. <laughs>